Hey guys, this is Solar from Pixels, and today I will be showing you guys how to basically use your joystick for any game. For this example, I'm using BVE. It's Bozo View Express. It may sound retarded, but it's actually a really nice simulator. It's basically a rail system, so just train driving. Um, it's I guess you can say it's a simulation. You sit in the cockpit and the cabin really, and you drive around, and it's very fun, very realistic, and. Uh, I enjoy it. So this is the BVE4. There's also BVE2, and there's also Open BVE, which gives you 3D capabilities. But um, I thought this would be the simplest to show you guys the controls. Um, I am using a joystick, and basically I it's uh, it's pretty simple, and I'm gonna show you guys how to apply it to basically anything. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna go to online and you're gonna download a program called Xpader. That's X P A D E D D E R. And I think I'm using version 5. So when I type in XPatter, uh, where is it? Here we go, XPatter. Okay, it's like a little remote control with like a smiley face on it. Click, click it. And you can know, this is the same program you guys use to, uh, you know, basically play, uh, online like Jam Legend or Guitar Hero or like. Yeah, guitar you're on your computer using the rock band or the guitar to your original. So you guys see here, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click here and click new, right here, and you're gonna move over to D-pad. Okay, and you're gonna enable it. Now, if you have a joystick, this is gonna be your D-pad. Okay, and if you have a D-pad already in your, um, in your uh, joystick, then put that instead. But uh, if you have a D-pad on your joystick rather than the function of putting it forward you can move over to sticks and press enable and then that's going to be your joystick um, I'm just going to use d-pad so uh, I'm just enable this okay so here we are if I press if I uncheck this if I move my joystick forward it's going to note that down back like that left like that and right like that okay so now I'm done with the d-pad and now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the buttons. Now if you have buttons on the side of your, uh, or on your uh, joystick, you just press those. I have four, so one, two. Okay, so you can see that, uh, well you guys obviously can't see that, but mine are located as one, two, three, four. And when I press the first button, and it says that, which is correct, and two is over here. So I'm going to move that right about there. Then I press the third button, appears. Fourth button, and then it appears. Okay, make sure it's connected because that's how you're gonna do everything. And mine's USB, obviously. So. Okay, it doesn't have to be precise. You can actually move discombobulator everywhere, but it'll still work. Now we're just gonna click finish and close. Okay, so here we are with the set uh, layout, and uh, but this is what I did. Um, so if I move my joystick forward, it's gonna like that green back, left and right. And then I press one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, for some reason, the bottom button, the bottom isn't working, but it's it's telling me it's functional. So that's that. Uh, now we're done with that. Uh, you're gonna go into the game you wanna play with. Okay. So I'm over here, and we click options and keyboard and key assignments. Now, if you go to handles, the power handle is Q, and uh, for the one handle is G. So. Um, basically, I, I'm using my games, uh, my games, uh, BVE's uh, settings. Power is G, so I'm gonna set that as forward because when I put the, so when I add the power to it, it will move forward. I thought forward would be the perfect type of motion. Q is to apply the brake, so uh, I will do that. Now to put the train in, in the, for, to adjust the reverser, you just press left to put in forward, and then back over to make it neutral, and then back again for down. That's that. I did uh, basic uh, views, so up is going to be when you type in the letter eight, it's going to type it's going to say D eight. So up, I put this to view up. Left is uh, seven, right is E, and I put this for emergency brake, which is over here. And you basically play around with that, and whatever fits your needs, you put that there, and press OK here. Now what we're going to do is going to press save. Mine's already saved. And you're done with that. So even if you open up, for example, Notepad, and push up, it's gonna press G. And when I push down, it's gonna press Q.
Yeah, well, I have to type into myself, so, uh, it doesn't matter what you do with the up, but if I press the down, it's going to move the cursor down. So that's, that's basically all I have to show you guys, so, this basically works for anything, even online games, but I'm going to use it for BVE, so, and what you can do is just minimize this, and it stays right here, right here, and now let's open up a station. Uh, I just lost my whole directory, so I have to install one really quick, so I'm pretty used to this one, uh, so let's just wait for that to load. It doesn't take that long. You should give VVE a try. Uh, so just go, just go to Google, type in M A C K O Y McCoy, and then issue the first link should be your VVE train sim website. This is a Japanese sim, by the way, but you should have a pretty good graphics card. And uh, good processor speed. I'm hearing the sound, so here we are. That's our train schedule. Press F3 to close that out. Waiting for the train doors to stop, uh, to initially close. Feel this light light up. You can hear it closing. Okay, so let me just uh, bring XPatter up so I can show you guys how it's working out. So watch this. Uh, put press left for forward, and you see that it's turned to F. And apply power. One hand. There we go. And you can see the train's moving. I apologize if the sim is very slow. Um, this is not the best screen recorder, and it's not one I paid for. So uh, I need to go out and uh, actually pay for one, not use like a gold trial. Okay, so slowly up ahead. And you guys got the picture, so that's basically all I have to, you know, show you guys. So download XPatter. Um, I will uh, provide a link in the description below, and you guys can check out and download it. And that's basically how you guys use uh, XPatter to use any game. And today's demonstration was on BVE4. Uh, and if you guys see future, uh, if you, even previous uh, uh, LFS uh, like car mods. Right then, I used the same X pattern trick to that, or I actually used the joystick option that they have. But as we to show you guys, so this is Slar from Pixels. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, every new account is Slar from Pixels. Peace out.